Malifo, starter set, encounter one, at rep. Hey everybody, this is uh, Benito here. I'm with John Martin. Hi. All right, and uh, we're going to do something I'm pretty excited about. Uh, it's been a while since we, we've run, done a couple of videos. I, I was doing it with my brother Rico. If you've seen a couple of our Malifo videos here and there, we've done some experimenting things with some of the Malifo videos. We kind of did like a short form film thing that was like kind of interesting with that with some rule sets kind of going on with it. But, Lo and behold, Weird has produced its own starter box set. Mm. So, me and John have agreed that we're going to go through the five-part encounter scenario that's in this, simply because if you're interested in Malifo, as we are, mm -hmm. and we are also learning these rules better. Very much so. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's always so many different games and so much we go by. Uh, this will be a good step for others to pick up this game and figure out these steps that you need to learn the game. So, this is gonna be a little bit weird in the production of, we're not gonna do a lot of uh, overblown terrain that we have here um, because it's really some simple stuff. Like the, the first encounter, basically, which we'll explain, has uh, just two models in it total. So we don't need a whole three by three uh, scenario with a bunch of fun terrain, stuff like that. Not yet. That will be in some other videos. <laughs> but we're gonna go, we're gonna go piece by piece uh, through this. We'll kind of go what's in the actual book itself. And if you are interested, you can find this unboxing of the starter set at Spectre Studios on our YouTube channel for that. But more or less. We're going, to, we're going to be doing that. I'm going to be playing the Neverborn version of this, and you're mm -hmm. going to do... I'll be doing the guild. All right, and they're kind of a weird set of individuals. Yours are more like doctorly or something like yeah, that? Yeah, something kind of doctorly. Dr. Grimwell's group of that situation. I got Angel Eyes, which is something to do, I think, more or less with some blood demonish aspects people. I have no idea. So <laughs> right. you can we'll comment, yeah, we'll comment below and teach us. We'll, we'll <laughs> with that. But anyways, uh, this will go for the first steps. There will be five encounters uh, me and John are going to do all five we have that all planned out here at the complex so if you're interested you can come down uh, upon seeing this video you can come down and see some of those videos being made we'll, mm -hmm. we're gonna do the first three here today because they are short and simple encounters yeah, yeah. Short one simple. model in the first encounter yeah, yeah. one model and then right. move up to two in the next one cool. so yeah exciting yeah, yeah. advanced <laughs> <laughs> but the same type of model but uh, like I said so again very short very simple and sweet but uh, you can come down to the complex check it out and we definitely look to be getting some more games with you if you want to do that mm -hmm. um, we're ready to play some Malifo Absolutely. once we get the advancement. And now the complex has us to, to pick up down there, so we definitely want to do that. So, more or less, uh, we're going to go right into Encounter 1. Yeah, let's like go do it. Yeah. All right. Okay, I am here with John. We have now picked up, so you can pick up that right there, is Encounter 1. It says the hallway rumble. Literally. So, sort I'm going to just kind of skip to where we are, because we're kind of like in a small little area of the situation in the complex here. It says, the blood wretch and the orderly are placed within one inch of one each inch. other. Okay. Because the encounter rules are, the hallways are cramped. There is no way to, f no way out but to fight. We're gonna flip for our initiative and determine a player to go first. So, they have got themselves in a nice little hallway. They obviously do not like each other. Our blood wretch, and our orderly card right here. We get the glare off there, right there. So, so starting the turn, it says each player simply draws six cards from their deck and into their hand. So, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. John is getting his. Then each player flips over the top card of their deck. The player with a higher card will choose to go first or second. So here we go. I have a nine. I have a three. I will choose to go first because that seems like the right thing to do in a hallway when you have nothing to do but smack a guy. <laughs> so now we'll discard these cards away. They're no longer uh, relevant to anything going on right now. And it says in this counter, the orderlies and some of their inmates are having a bit of a squabble, so we're starting right in the action with how to perform an attack. An attack action looks like this and can be found on the back of the model stack cards. This one is on the Blood Wretch. So, there's your card on the back. It says in Human Claws. And I'll give you, give you a chance to take a look at that part right there, because that's what's going to be kind of talking about. 
It says the MI there is this, this is an abbreviation for melee, and the number six represents how good the Blood Wretch is in melee. This number will be added to a random card flip from the deck or played from the hand to determine whether the Blood Wretch hits. Some attacks may list at SH for shooting or CA for casting instead, but they still work in the same way. RST, this is an abbreviation for resist and is indicates which stat the defender will use to try to defend itself. In this case, the resist is defense and DF found on the front card stat on the left side of the stat bar. So we look at our order blade right here. And right up there in that front, you'll see that first number there, five, is that DF that this is talking about. Uh, then it says RG, this is an abbreviation for range. The blood wrench must be within one inches to make this attack. So again, we look at that, you can see that um, the RG's got like a scratch thing for a symbol for that attack. And because it's range one, um, that will make the attack. So finally attacks will deal two, three, five damage if it hits. And we'll do that, figure that more later. So that's pretty much the gist of it and the rule part of it. It's a little bit more explanation coming with that. So we're going to take uh, my melee of six, your defense of five. So I have a one point advantage in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at now a ten. I'm looking at a red joker. Woo! So that's 14 <laughs> of the total, which is cards in the starter deck really do a good job at symbolizing the value of that card there. So he's got a 19. All right, and that and right now we're uh, we're only in the basic of the rules, <laughs> so I have missed. So uh, you're now your turn to it's basically turn. attack back. So I can attack back. Yep. So now you're gonna right. flip your guy over. Let's see what my attack is. Is it a f five? Yep. All right. My attack five. My def with defense. My defense is a six. So seems we'll have the one point advantage. Put so that we'll one inch range again. Flip again. All right. Hey. So, I've got a 13. I've got a 17. So you definitely hit. Mm -hmm. Now we go to damage. You're going to flip up another card, and we'll see right here that there is a damage chart to that. But the cards are also, especially in the starter deck, pretty much tell you what they do for their damage anyway. So this card says moderate. Yep. So in between the numbers here, yeah. it's 2, 3, 5. So we do 3 damage. All right. So right. he does... Uh, so three damage to the five healthy heads. Okay, so we're gonna use little token beads to represent that he's taken three damage. All right, so he's wounded. We're off to the next attack sequence here. So my turn to attack. And I will be a 12. All right, and I will be a 14. Okay, so. John is just going to continue to like yeah. keep rolling high numbers here like that. Or I guess this deck. Yeah, I'm the inmate, I guess, so <laughs> it's not really like doing very well with that. So, okay, so he's missed. Again, the uh, orderly will put me down, maybe? Maybe not Ooh, this, this one. Maybe not, not yeah. this time. No. Yeah, so that's no. a seven. So back to a miss of there. Can my wretch do something? I think so on this one. Maybe, yeah. So Four this nine. time the wretch will hit. Let's see our damage. And the card of mine will say severe. That's not good. So for him, it is two, three, five. So luckily, the orderly has six health. As you can see right there, a little number, of little bullet holes. It looks like on this card. Mm -hmm. But he's got one left. Yep. That makes it now for a tight contest, and Let's much better action for video or for the first video for this. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, my one point difference in our stats because I have a defense of six. Yeah, your attack of five, so that will keep me keep you in the missing break, in the game. So let's see now. Uh oh, oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, the hit right there. <laughs> so as you can see, we're just adding the numbers together. If they're higher, they hit. It's going to be weak damage, but that yep. should be enough anyways to enough. knock the orderly down with a two. That is attack, folks. That's Pretty simple. Really fancy game of slapjack here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's totally how that one was working out there with just little, <laughs> with little added damage things of what what your character stats are. Yeah. But we hope you get the understanding of that. Again, that's just attacking and how the cards are damaged. And if you have one of these Malifaux decks that you see here, um, they'll really help you understand exactly uh, you know what you're playing with. Those are your numbers. There's your damage like that. It makes it for very simple what you're doing for all that stuff to figure out what you think. So, any questions?
comment below. Get this little thing spun around a little bit here with both of us here. So again, uh, that's just the encounter one that was dealing with attack, one model each, just to kind of showcase that and damage. And we're gonna go off into encounter two, and that should show you a little bit more development as we go through the, uh, the, the rule sets that are part of Malifaux and keep things pretty simple in understanding, right? Maybe we'll get to move something. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's got some beautiful range rulers in this thing too, so we'll be we'll exciting. <laughs> All right, so thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can also check us, find us on thespectrestudios.us, our website. You can find the Malifo uh, forum column there, and you can comment to what anything you saw here or anything you like or what you'd like to see more of as we do a little bit more videos down the road. So thanks again. Spectre Studios. Play for the spirit of the game.